Hey, good afternoon, people. Welcome to Big Al's H. Uh, getting ready to do a, a, a real nice, real nice brisket. Got a choice brisket, and uh, we're going to trim it up. Uh, get it, uh, do all the trimming up. Going to do everything that needs to be done. We're going to cook this tomorrow. And uh, what this is, this is a half of a full packer. This is, uh, the, uh, I'll explain it to you right here. This is half of the flat here, and up under it is the point. Uh, this brisket was like this. It was huge. I cut part of the flat off. We cooked it uh, about a month ago, and uh, this has been frozen. So what I want to do now is get it trimmed up and get ready for a, a nice uh, brisket for tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to trim this down. I'm going to take a lot of this fat off, and I want about a quarter inch of fat left. So I'm just going to go through this process. And I'm, I'm trimming on the flat side right now. It's what they call the flat. We have a little breeze blowing out here, and it's nice today. Uh, it's uh, fall of the year, folks. It's time to cook a brisket. So uh, just, I'm just going to go through this process, get it trimmed up nicely. And uh, on this side, it doesn't need a whole lot. All This is about a quarter inch here, but we have a, a good fat cap right here. So I'm just going to go through that and uh, trim it. As you can see, I've taken a good bit of fat off of here. There's a lot of this uh, fat kept that's on these briskets like this that will not render down. And uh, so, you know, there's, there's no need to leave it on here. Uh, remove all that that's, that will not render down. And I've got it trimmed up pretty nicely here. Uh, looks good enough for me. And uh, like I say, this is a this is part of the flat. This is part of the flat right here, and over here you have the point. But the point is where you get your uh, burn ends from. So uh, trim just a little bit more of this off. And uh, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to explain to you how I inject this. We are going to inject it, and uh, it's going to add a lot of flavor to it. A good piece of fat cap right here. On, uh, on this part of this flat, so I'm going to get it trimmed off too. This is just a big hunk of fat in the meat that will not render. Uh, it'll be there at the end of the day when it's through cooking. And we are doing this outside. Uh, we're in the <laughs> what I affectionately call the man cave. And uh, over here at Big Al's Eats, I do a, a daily live cooking show on Facebook, and I also have uh, my uh, my YouTube page that we're on now. But uh, hey, just look around. Come over to Big Al's Eats, look around, and join me for my live videos over on uh, on Facebook. Do a lot of breakfast videos, and that is something that we do daily. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of this fat in in this section over here, by this uh, by the flat, and uh, it's going pretty deep. So we got to get it trimmed off, and uh, then we'll start the uh, the injection deal. So hey, stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, we've got it all trimmed up nicely. Got like a quarter inch layer of fat still left on it trimmed all the thick fat off that will not render down and what I want to do now is do an injection and I'm going to uh, inject it in a checkerboard pattern and uh, then I'm going to put it in a hotel pan cover, put it in a refrigerator and let it sit overnight, come back tomorrow morning and start the cooking process. But my injection is a, is a very simple injection. I've used uh, a product called Better Than Bouillon. Uh, it's, it's a roasted beef base is what it is and uh, it's real thick. And I used about a half of uh, a half of a can of uh, uh, beef consomme soup, you might say, beef consomme. Uh, I heated it up, uh, got the beef base to uh, to uh, uh, melt down, and it all blend where I can pull it up in this uh, in my injection needle here, and then I'm going to inject it in the checkerboard pattern. And uh, whenever you, like I say, I'm outside, y'all. We got we've got insects flying around. I mean. Hey, we're barbecuing. We're really cooking, you know. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and inject it in a checkerboard pattern all over. And uh, you have to be very careful when you're injecting because uh, 
If you're not careful, I put my finger over the hole after I inject it. Uh, this injection will, it will come back out and uh, you will get wet. And I'm sure I'll get wet before I get through. Woo, there, see it jump out right there? So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through here, get it injected in a checkerboard pattern all throughout. Start back over here. And I'm not putting a, a tremendous amount in there uh, in each injection. Just, just a little squirt in there. And uh, like I say, I'm doing it in a checkerboard pattern, so uh, everything's gonna, everything's gonna get some of this au jus, if you will. All right, let's get started again. I inject it slowly and pull it out, pull the needle out as uh, I'm injecting the the basting liquid in there. Don't want to get wet. And I can feel uh, inside here in this one certain spot, I injected the needle in there and attempted to put the juice in and it wouldn't go. And so what that tells me, I've, uh, I've hit a, 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 what's a better term? Uh, I've, in, I've found some fat in there. Well, that was a hard one to get out. There's a fat streak running through there, and uh, this this is not going to inject in in fat. So, all right, now I've got it uh, injected in, in the checkerboard pattern this, on this side. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to inject the point side. So uh, let's get that done, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Well, we've about through. We got it all injected everywhere. I've got just a little bit left. We got a nice breeze blowing out here today. It's beautiful weather today in southwest Georgia. And there you have it. I've got it injected. I'm going to put it down in this pan. And uh, we're going to let that sit overnight in the refrigerator. I need to uh, put this stuff down. There we go. And what I want to do, uh, I've got a little bit of that uh, injection liquid left. I'm just going to pour it over the top. Don't want to waste it. All that's going to be flavor for later. We've actually got some in our pan here. Just going to pour it on. That's it. And now I get a piece of tin foil. Get it wrapped. Put it in the refrigerator. And uh, y'all check back with me later. Uh, next thing's going to happen, we're going to light this uh, Camp Chef uh, pellet grill over here. And uh, that's why we're going to cook it. Uh, put it on the pellet grill. And we're looking at, uh, I'm guessing, uh, probably an eight-hour cook at least, at least eight hours. And uh, we're looking for an internal temperature of 200 degrees. And uh, we'll go all into that. But the, the thing I wanted to show you today was uh, how we're going to trim this uh, brisket up and inject it and the method we use for injecting. And tomorrow we'll get into the seasonings we're going to put on it. So uh, first thing in the morning, folks, uh, y'all have a good night, and we'll see you in the morning. From Big Al's Eats, cheers, and y'all have a nice evening. Hey, folks, uh, welcome back. Uh, We've had this brisket in the refrigerator overnight. Uh, just to recap a little bit, what you've seen so far is I have trimmed this brisket up of excess fat, fat that would not render down, and uh, I injected it with uh, beef consomme and uh, this uh, beef base here. Better than bouillon, roasted uh, beef base. And uh, I had to heat it just to get the beef base to to dissolve where I could inject it and uh, yesterday that's what we did and uh, it's been uh, in the refrigerator overnight 
and it's uh, it's took a bath in that in that marinade and in the injection. So uh, what I want to do to to today, uh, I've got this uh, Camp Chef pellet grill going, and uh, I've got the pellets in. It's warming up, ready to go, and uh, I'm uh, shooting for a temperature of 250 degrees, which uh, is at 242 now. So what I want to do now, I want to get this seasoned. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of this beef base and I'm going to rub it over the top uh, on both sides, the top and the bottom. And I'll just pull out some like this and uh, I'm going to use these, use these hands of mine to just uh, rub it in. It's going to be hard to get this stuff to rub in because it is a paste. But, uh, and it's cold. So anyway, going to get it rubbed down with this beef base and I'm going to do both sides. That's starting to cover real good. So I'll continue to rub this in and uh, on both sides and then we'll come back and I'll explain the actual seasonings that I'm going to put on there. Okay, I have both sides rubbed down with the better than bouillon and now I'm going to put the seasoning on it. This is a, a generic seasoning that I put together and uh, I'll tell you exactly what's in it. Uh, I've put uh, equal parts, equal parts of each item, uh, smoked kosher salt and it's kosher salt that I actually cold smoked. So uh, yes I have kosher salt, smoked kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper, garlic powder, uh, celery salt, and uh, what else is in here? Smoked uh, paprika, and that, that's all that's in there. Uh, I use it on steaks, burgers, anything. It works great on a brisket. So, uh, and like I say, the, the pepper that's in there, beef brisket loves pepper, so I put uh, uh, the coarse ground black pepper in there. So I'm going to pop it open, and I'm going to season both sides really well. This is the side with the flat on it. And uh, I'm going to cook it with the flat down. I'm just going to get a good, good layer of this seasoning on there. That's good. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pat it. Uh, some people call it a rub. You don't actually you don't actually want to rub it. If you rub it, all you're going to do is spread it and move the, the seasoning off of the, the target area on the meat. I got that patted down on there. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to season the, the point side. This, and the point is where you get your burnt ends. And one thing that, uh, that a lot of people will do when they uh, cook a brisket. They all, you, they, everybody always tells you, you know, for tender brisket and all that, slice it against the grain, across the grain. Well, the grain is running just like this. You can see that. It's, it's obvious the way this grain's running. Let me go ahead and season this, and I'll show you a little trick that I do. A lot of people, a lot of people will take a knife and cut a corner off, you know, so they'll have a reference point as to where the grain is. I take a toothpick and slide it in across the grain just like that. That way I'll know that when I, when I slice this, uh, the, the point on this, I have to slice it this way. Alright, I've got that taken care of. I'm going to flip it back over and uh, this is the flat. I've got another toothpick and the flat uh, the grain is running this way, completely different than the point. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and insert this toothpick in this side. And there you have it. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on the, the uh, Camp Chef pellet grill. I've got the temperature set at uh, 250 degrees. I've got the the smoke set at number three. I'm going to cook it at 250 degrees until we reach an internal temperature of 170. 
I'm somewhere around 170, 180, and then what I'll do, uh, and, and I'll go over this with you uh, when we reach those temperatures, I'm going to separate the flat from the point, re-season the, the, the inside part of it, put it back on to, to brown up there. So, let's uh, go ahead and get this on. I've got a, I've got a drip pan. Got a drip pan right here. I'm trying. To, I got. Uh, I've got probes that uh, I'm going to insert a temperature probes. So I just want to keep those separate. And I'll take this uh, drip pan and just set it down right in there. And now I'm going to take take the brisket. I'm going to lay it up top right now and. Uh, uh, insert these uh, meat probes. The first one I'm going to insert into insert it into the flat. And there you have it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to set, insert the other one into the into the fattest part, not fat, but the meatiest part of the pork. And there you have it. Uh, I'm going to close the lid down, get this thing ready to go, and then we'll go for. A, it's going to be a several hour smoke, so uh, you know, stay tuned. We'll be back with updates and show you how this brisket turns out. See you a little later. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I've reached an internal temperature of 160 degrees, uh, actually 161. I'm going to pull the, the meat off the grill now and separate the flat from the point and re-season, put it back on. So uh, I'll have to remove the, the temperature probes and uh, it's going to be hot so I'm going to put some, put some gloves on. It's, it's looking so good too. There you have it. Okay, now what we want to do is, uh, like I say, get this, get the flat separated from the point, and you can see right here, this is the flat. And all it is is this a uh, lot of connective tissue there, a lot of fat membrane and stuff like that. So uh, all we have to do is just cut through that and uh, remove the, the flat. It's a real simple process, nothing to it. And there you have it. That is a pretty piece of meat. And now I want to remove just a little bit of this fat out of here. We don't need that. As you can see, I've uh, removed some more of this fat cap. So now I want to re-season this side where, the, where it was all attached. Put a little bit more of this rub on here, and I'm gonna put it right back on the on the uh, pellet grill over there. There you have it. So now we'll we'll put this back on and let it continue cooking toward the internal temperature of 170, 180, uh, and then we'll wrap it and we'll show you those results here shortly. Okay, it's the uh, end of the day. Uh, we're seven hours into this. The flat is done. I've already wrapped it. Uh, the point 
it's still cooking and the internal temperature is 107 degrees on the point but uh, on the flat it, which is the flat you know it's a, a small piece of, of meat and it's, it's uh, uh, half of the brisket uh, it is completely done got an internal temperature of 201 I'm going to pull it off of the, the cooker now and I'm going to put it in a cooler and uh, let it rest for about an hour so let's go ahead and take care of that and you can see the point over here is looking really nice I'm going to pull the temperature probe out I'll set this over here close this down I'm, I'm going to continue to let the point cook uh, the point's probably uh, another, probably a couple of more hours on it. Now, like I say, the point is a, a bigger, thicker piece of meat, but this piece here is uh, is really looking nice. Uh, let me uh, let me get a let me get a close up on this. This is really looking nice and uh, just super super tender. So uh, let me adjust the camera. We'll get a close up. Okay, there you have it. You see the juices are are collecting in the in the bottom of the tin foil. This is going to be a really really nice piece of meat. So uh, thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to rewrap it, put it in the cooler, and let it rest for about an hour. And this is the point. Uh, earlier I took up the the other part of that. I took the flat up, got it wrapped, put in a in a cooler let it rest and now we've got the point out here this is going to really be a good one nice tender juicy there's plenty of juice in that thank y'all for joining me all right let's put it in the cooler and let it rest all right there you have it that's how we do the brisket uh, we still have like i say a couple hours to go on the, the the point and it's still on the, the Camp Chef uh, pellet grill. This one's setting, it's resting. Uh, we're going to slice it in about an hour and uh, got good old potato salad to go with it. Thank y'all for joining me today. I uh, hope you get something out of this video on how to cook a brisket. It's real simple. Uh, cook by temperature. Don't forget to wrap. And uh, y'all have a good day. Try this. I promise you. It will turn out perfect every time.